we're going now to a health alert about toxic tampons. It's been a hot topic online after a study was released this week by researchers at UC Berkeley finding alarming rates of lead and other metals inside commonly used tampon brands. Researchers saying some of the metals detected had been found in an increased risk of dementia, infertility, diabetes, and cancer. 7 News Detroit reporter Whitney Burney taking a look at the study, what it means for your health, and the reasons medical professionals say it's too early to panic. I'm not surprised, unfortunately, but it does make me really frustrated. Reaction from Sarah Greslick after hearing a new study about the presence of metals in commonly used tampon brands. I actually saw something about the tampons this morning when I was just scrolling on social media, and I was like, wow, I have a whole box of Tampax at home that I haven't used yet, but I still plan on using. The study, which was led by a researcher at UC Berkeley, measured non-organic and organic tampons for levels of 16 different metals like arsenic, cadmium, mercury, and lead, metals known to cause severe medical complications like cancer and infertility. Researchers looked at 30 different tampons across 14 different brands. They didn't list the exact brands that they were looking into, but say metals were present in every single one. However, it's unclear how the metal got into the products. It's not just a women's issue, it's an everyone issue, and I do hope the more that we talk about it and the more we normalize things like this, that it moves everything forward and that we're doing more research and making smarter choices. I wouldn't freak out right now. So again, this is just information that you should know, you should be aware of. If you are using these, you could be potentially exposing yourself to higher than normal levels. Again, we don't know that yet. Dr. Jamie Allen is an associate professor in pharmacology and toxicology at Michigan State University. We need some of these metals. Some of these metals are in our foods and our enriched breads. And so it could be a problem. I think what needs to be done next is we need to look at some blood levels of these products to look at people who are using tampons compared to people who are not using tampons. In the meantime, physicians and experts say if tampon users are still concerned about potential health impacts, there are alternatives like menstrual cups, underwear or pads. These researchers in California did say that no one else has yet replicated this study, so it would be interesting to see is this reproducible? Are these results going to be consistent? You know, because if the next set of researchers doesn't find as much of these trace metals in the products, then maybe it's not as much of a concern. Future research is set to look at how much of these metals can leach out of the tampons and be absorbed by the body. Researchers are also expected to look into any other potential chemicals that could be inside of the products. Reporting for 7 News Detroit, I'm Whitney Burney. All right, Whitney, thank you. To a